Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. It is September 23, the year 2020. My name is Hans, the Storyteller Nordic, and I'm in my home country, the Netherlands, in the city of Berg Eyck, village of Berg Eyck. And I'm going to tell you a story about manifestation. It will take about 28 minutes. Last time I tried to do it in 20 minutes, I can't. It's always a little bit more. It will be about 28 minutes. So happy to see you around here. Happy that you're here. We give it another 30 seconds, everybody to show up, and then we will start about to talk about manifestation. I have here my book of my great friend Patch Adams. Big, big, big uh, inspiration for me. We talked about Patch last time, and uh, we're certainly going to talk about them again somewhere in the future. And now we're going to start to talk about manifestation. Again, Hans Nordzik, also known as a storyteller. I'm a global speaker. I'm an international storyteller, entertainer, book writer, and also a speaker coach and a brand ambassador. And today I want to tell you a story about manifestation. Why I do these things we come back to that again in about 10 minutes because I cannot do else. Something inside tells me my bliss, my bliss tells me what I should tell. I come from the world of aviation, having been a captain instructor for stripe uniform, being serious. And I also come from the world of theater, street theater, stand up performances. So everything that's not serious is in the other part of my life and I combine these two. I also come from the world of mythology and I've traveled all over the world and I smelled, I learned a lot from ancient cultures. This whole thing together makes me as I am today, 61 years old, and I tell from that perspective. Mythology is my blueprint of life and from then I'm telling my stories. And I said last time, I'm just telling the stories, the things I tell it's a story of everything. It's a story of the universe, of the world, of your village, of you. And I'm just telling the story. That's it. Manifestation. If you have a business today and you want a quick fix, Hans, I'm only going to listen to you for 28 minutes. If you can give me some sort of a tip or a trick so that tomorrow I have more, more clients, more customers. Tomorrow I'll make more profit. If you want that, I don't have that. And to be honest, I don't think anybody has that. So I have tips and tricks for a longer term. Can be applied to your life, can be applied to your family, to your sports event, to your entertainment, can be applied to your business. Because we are in a society that is only a few hundred years old. Yes. And I learned from societies that were 200,000 years old. We talked about it some weeks ago that the old societies, the old cultures were far more developed than ours. This is the game changer. If there is a you know, game changer, everybody uses those words nowadays, a pivoting point in your life, game changer. The game changer that I have is probably different than all the others. Everybody says that also, and I say the same. I don't want to go back to December 2019 because that's behind us. I think we have the unique opportunity the unique opportunity in time of crisis to open other doors of perceptions, other doors of perceptions to experience life in another way. And yes, it can also be applied to your business and you have to bear with me for some weeks or some months. Things that went wrong in history, and I prefer not to talk about things that went wrong. Somewhere in history we took a different exit and that's why we came to the world of today so I'm not nobody's guilty about things in the past now history is as it is and we should keep it as it is and we took an exit that we may have different thoughts about it and I'm talking about what would happen if we would have taken a different exit the world as we know today technological technical world it's not a world that is the only world that there can be. There are many different types of worlds. So we choose somehow, a few hundred years ago, for this technocratic world. And I want to show you there are other options to 
choose from. In my view, we need to choose to another option because the road we're on now is a dead end road. And you see it happening all over the world. It's a dead end road. So we need to have a game changer. And for that, listen to your ears to the old, to the old cultures. L manifestation, what does it mean? Manifestation, the word manifest. We know the word infest. Manifest, manos. Manifest means hands. Fest, fasting or investing is to show something, to do something. So manifesting is controlling or experiencing of changing the world using your hands. The best thinking is always with your hands, not with your head. You have to do with your hands. This is the accents of humanity that you find in the Incas, in the Mayas, you find in the ancient Egyptian cultures. The essence of mankind is to manifest her or himself. And that means the world change or alter the course of life, the alter the course of history, the alter the course of your environment using your hands. In other words, whatever there is in the world that is non-physical, some people call it spiritual, make it via your body happen into the physical world. This is the essence of being a human. In the old ancient Egyptian, this was the top of the pyramid, literally, top of the pyramid that all people in that community were encouraged, excited to show how they could prosper and grow and develop as mankind to manifest yourself. Okay, information and transformation. Yes, I'm, I'm going all through the universe here. Another 23 minutes to go. Information and transformation. I give you examples last time, I give you another example about the way that we look at the world is only one way and we can have different ways of looking at the world. The information and transformation, what is the difference? If you talk about life or whatever you do, something that you do in life that's in a dead end, that is, that is stopping somewhere, we call that in the in the ancient knowledge we call it dead, dead. Then you're dead. If you do something that leads to nothing, that's a dead life. You may be physically alive. If it doesn't contribute anything to your life or to the life in the universe, that is a dead thing. You're only a lot of bones and blood together, and you don't produce anything out of your purpose that is valuable for the the universe. Yes, it's that big. I talk about. If you say, well, information, now, I was a captain for many years. If I took the microphone, the passengers in the cabin, 425 people, and in the beginning, I just gave information. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello, the captain, 2012 feet. Thank you for your, thank you for your, for your attention. Information is boring in that aspect. I thought always information is number one. If you say information is number one, it is dead in the old Gnostic knowledge, only information is dead. Transformation is number one. If you choose who is dead, who is alive, transformation, something, information that will help you develop as a human, as a family, as a village, as a country, as a culture, as a world, that will transform you to be the next version of yourself, then information is helpful to that. And then information starts to be alive. I do hope you get the point. No, it's uh, things that we took the wrong exit a few hundred years, a few hundred years ago. And to understand what I'm talking about, it took me also quite a, a long time. So I don't expect that you understand me right away. So it may take some time. That's fine. For every walk, walk of life, you come four year old, you're a professor, you're a pilot, you're a teacher, you're whatever you do. Transformation. The Egypt, the world Egypt, if you go back to the original meaning of the world Egypt, Egypt is one of the oldest countries in the world. Oldest countries, thousands, hundred thousand, hundred thousands of years. Egypt means the land of transmutation or transformation. Almost the same, a little bit different. Transmutation, it's about transforming. The land was built upon 
helping everybody in the whole society tra to transform. And we use for that information. So if you say information is number one, that's that, because then transformation will be that as well. Transformation number one, how can we help each other in the world? Yes, it's that noble. How can we help each other with information so that transformation as magic will happen? Then both start to get alive. Wow. Some days ago I had a dream. I had a dream. I come from the world also the, the world of aviation, aviation as a technician. And then uh, I, I dreamed about aerodynamics. Aerodynamic. You can have moving or static air. Static air, nothing happens, static air. And if air moves, the airplane moves, and the air, the air moves relative to the airplane, then it is dynamic. Aerodynamics, static. The behavior of air is different if it's static or if it is dynamic. And we say, well, you have one side. We say you have the opponent of aerodynamic is static. Uh-uh. No, that's what the dream told me. The static and then you have dynamic and then you have anti-dynamic again i i don't expect you to to understand it i just want you to bear with me it take may take some time to understand it so this is in, in the present world what they say now the present world as we understand it today even by the scientists people scientific people this is nonsense what they say here and it is not Static towards dynamic, that's the opponent, uh-uh. Static here, then you have dynamic, and then you have anti-dynamic. Aha. Uh -huh. And if you would have this philosophy in your thinking, you would have a different life, you would have a different business, you would have a different world. The paradigm, the universal, timeless paradigm, of the universe universe is if you dig a hole you make a hole in the ground and I need to tell you the stories of the old ancient Egyptians the old mythology the stories are also metaphorically it's by pictures by showing not so much by information transformation you know and I use transformation or um, mythological stories that is describing things instead of, in going, instead of going straight to it. So the, the static dynamic, static anti-dynamic. If you dig a hole, you have to make a mountain. Now let that sink in. If you dig a hole, you have to make a mountain. If you make in your car factory 600,000 cars in so many years, that is digging a hole. And then you have disbalanced, unbalanced the system. And you have to do something else, whatever that is. Don't expect, you would say what, you have to do something else to to compensate for making that hole, for making 600,000 cars. And that is the paradigm that we should, we should get used to. That if you create something here, you have to do something in the other part of the balance in order to get the, to get the harmony that the universe wants. Yes, it's that big, you know. We, if you, there is a, this beautiful, beautiful symbol from Egypt that you see a balance that is hanging here there's a scale here and there's a scale there and there's one something on the scale there's something on the scale and uh, the, the goddess of balance is uh, she's called Maat and that's said that, no that's a principle if you dig a hole you have to make a mountain you can apply it to the present situation that we're in in the world with the crisis we see the the COVID crisis the virus as a big big enemy and we have to fight the enemy it's good now it's, it's digging a hole and now you start to in the big picture you start to unbalance things where do we make the mountain because at the other side the virus and this is a scary 
soapy discussion, the virus also has a right to exist. And if you see the virus as only your enemy, and you forget to make the mountain, you're going to have a problem in a year or in two years. So, we need to also, in this virus crisis, we need to have a different look on it. Dig a mountain, dig a, a hole, and then make a mountain. The, the, the it champions were experts on it. They always say, so above, as above, as below. If you do something here, you have to do something here. So you see, I hope you see the difference in what, why I started with static dynamic. And now we forgot, we forget one part of the, of the universal life. And that's the anti-dynamic part of it. How do you compensate for that? Now, this is all, if you are only digging holes without making a mountain, you are not creating a harmonious life. That's one of the reasons that we keep on getting a lot of people more sick. We get more viruses, we get more bacteria, because we get to compensate. And we don't go yet to how do you compensate. It is just we start with the philosophy about it. You know, I have one, I have two ears. Of course, most people have two ears. No, we have an ear. Why I ask you a question? What is the what is the purpose? What's the function of my ear? So I go for a linear discussion. I have an ear. What is the function of my ear? Yeah, oh, easy question. That is to listen. That is to pick up signals, oral signals, by vibrating air coming into your ear. Long story short, one things start to vibrate here, and then you get a sense. Sensors in your brain start to work, and you say, "Oh well, I hear, I hear a car, or I hear beautiful music, or I hear a bird." So we see them as like receptors, as like receivers, as like antennas for the oral part of the universe, vibrating air. Period. We are so connected, 100% convinced that it's very difficult to let that go. And the essence is ears are not made in this way. That's not their purpose. I know what you think, I know what you say. That's nonsense, Hans. Yes, until I tell you the next thing. And it, will, it took me, it takes still, it, no, it still takes me time to understand it. And I apply it on a daily basis to get used to it. Because I smell, I smell that I, I need, we need, we need to listen in time of crisis to, to cultures that know far better how things go. Again, no, the ancient cultures would tell us, oh me, you guys in the, in the year 2020, you're living in the middle ages, you know. You, you, you only understand half part of life. You don't get the other part. You're living in the Middle Ages here. Okay, the ear. Now bear with, bear with me. It's all about manifestation. And now we come 10 minutes, we come about your manifestation. Manifest is something explodes into action, explodes into life. Something want to experience something. Manifesting, something coming out of nothing. We've talked about that the last time, the process of creativity and the big need of today of artists in the front lines of our businesses, far more the artists than the business people, or your artists inside you. I guarantee we all have an internal artist. I guarantee that. If we're wired, we're made by you, by, by, the, by the universe. We all have an artist in it. And if you say, well, I don't have it, then either you deny you're lying or you don't know yourself. And I guarantee we all have an internal artist that need to be evoked and need to get alive. So about our ears. Now, I take you through this story in a short time. There is a unique essence in the universe that's called vibration. And vibration wants to manifest herself via oral things. And if there's nothing in the physical world for oral sounds to manifest herself, it cannot be done. And in order for the unique aspect of vibrating air, short story, in order of vibration to manifest herself in the universe, we need to have ears. 
So audio, oral, the urge, the essence. I want to. I want to get air. Want to get born as as oral sound. It, and that, in order to do that, the universe is making ears. I can. Most of you will think, well, he's you know, he's talking nonsense, Hans. Well. I hope you can read it again. Oh, the ears are the result of the desire to manifest herself. And the same applies to your eyes. Your eyes are the result of light wanted to manifest herself. And the same applies to your nose and to your mouth. And the same applies to your finger and to your molecules. And the same applies to your whole being. So you and I, we are this unique combination of so many senses and so many trillion bacteria, molecules, viruses that are together, the combination, you're unique and I'm unique, the combination of a lot of aspects of the universe wanted to explore, to explode, to manifest themselves and you are the channel. We are the channel. We, are, we do that, no? we, 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 and we benefit from it. Today I'll take my dear mother, it's here. We take a wine in one hour. Yes, I, I, I enjoy life. I enjoy life a lot. Yeah, and you will join life more if you start to understand what's going on and why we're wired. You could say in other words, no, we're mankind. As you are wired, you are made unique. Your combination of things, you're in the, everybody's unique. And you have a unique code, like a password, a unique telephone number that describes you. And I'm also the same. In essence, I'm not more than a very huge telephone number that describes how I am made by the universe, given all these different aspects, ears, eyes, mouth, everything in us that want to manifest themselves. So we are a multidimensional creature, dragon, exploding of life, and through us, the universe life explodes and explores and manifests himself. Well, how can you do that to the extreme? To meet your purpose. Well, your purpose is to do what we just talked about. And to connect with who you are. Who you are. What is your essence? What is your authenticity? And if you connect with your authenticity and who you are, and you need artists to find that out. We need a lot more artists in our world. And your inner artist as well. And if you do that, if you connect with your inner artist and you know who you are, your essence of, your, of who you are, and I talk about it now, then, now, then things start like magic happening in your life. Then, then if we dig a hole, we will make a mountain because that's the part that will be very natural to respond to life's actions. We come with 28 minutes almost now, 20, 27 minutes gone. 23 minutes we're gone. So manifestation about you. You your unique way of manifestation can only lead to a diverse, beautiful, exciting, multidimensional, sometimes difficult interesting life if you connect with who you are and what you want in essence and that may be different than what what we think today and if we create a world that is promoting that and if we create businesses that will promote that so if you make a new business or you convert your business in order to promote this paradigm of us and with this way you help the universe, you have mankind, you have everything. Well, what, what Dr. Phil told me last year, you know, universe rewards action. And if you take action in the universe that's in harmony with what the universe wants, then you, know, you, get, you get paid. You get paid a lot. So universe, the universe rewards action. Uh, I met Dr. Phil a few times. Very interesting, amazing man. So uh, I'm, I'm totally sure we totally agree on this aspect that um, it's all about manifestation. Talk with your hands and the universe rewards action.
You know, dreams without action is an illusion, it's nothing. Talking about spiritual spirituality without living life to the max and enjoy your wine if you want, then you didn't get the point. You know, life is spirituality is not about well, let's 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 die as soon as we can and hope this this dramatic physical world is gone. Uh -uh, no, no, no way. It's here. Heaven is here. You here. You're here to manifest yourself. So um, we're about to conclude this speaking. I hope you like it. I have I have a, a takeaway from you. And um, one thing, final statement from me, I'm, I'm working, I'm helping, and I cannot do this alone. I flew big airplanes, I cannot fly a big airplane without all my colleagues in the cabin or in the cockpit. To get there, I you know I'm imperfect as well. In, based upon this philosophy, it says we need to do this together in harmony and it may take a long long time and this may be the beginning so my my giveaway and your takeaway for today is about manifesting three things manifestation how do you manifest yourself now today how would you head scratching well how would you like to manifest yourself? So how do you do it today? How would you like to manifest yourself today? And number three, what would your action, what action would be needed by you or somebody around you in order to achieve this? I am now this, I want to achieve that. What do I need, what do I need from the universe? This is my takeaway, your takeaway, my giveaway. Thank you for listening. I'll be back next week with another story. We talk about the difference between fun and joy. Whoa, the Egyptians had some good things to tell about that. Fun and joy, there's a big difference. And what's the function of joy? We talk about it the next time. Thank you for joining. Appreciate you were here. And share the message, share the spirit of life. Talk to you next time. I'll be back, Hans the Storyteller, Nordic.